when you're getting ready to start a business, one of the most important things that you should have is peace, peace of mind, peace of environment. There are some people who are in a bad situation and maybe the diversion of a business will be something to take their mind off their problems. However, once the problems are solved, the motivation to be there will dissipate. What, what do I mean when I say peace? If you're in a relationship, and this is going to be some hard hitting information. If you're in a good relationship that supports you, that makes you happy, that's not a distraction, great. If you're in a bad relationship, you should end that relationship before you begin working on your business. It will be a distraction, it will be problematic, and it will slow down your momentum. I know that's very hard to say, that's very hard to put into place, but you know your situation because if you're trying to start a business and your life is a dumpster fire, you, you have all of these things going on, you have all of these situations going on, it's going to be really hard for you to focus. Focus is going to be an extremely important part of putting together your business because if you're focused and you have intent and you execute, you're going to move your business forward so much faster than when you're half distracted, when you're not paying attention, when you're all caught up in whatever's going on in your life. So having peace and also financial peace. If your personal finance life is also a dumpster fire, you have overdue bills, you have a situation where you're struggling, you have a situation where you're always worried about money. Once again, this is going to be a big issue and I'm going to do a separate video about financial prepping and just talk about some of the things that you should do to create this environment where you can begin to build your business. Now, this is something that's going to be a little strange. I've noticed that there's a lot of teenage business owners online and Here's one of the reasons that they're able to scale so quick. These guys are teenagers. They don't have years and years of experience. They have weeks to months or a few years of experience and they've created businesses. Uh, there's this one guy, Biazza, he, he's made enough money to buy his first rental property at 18 and he had the cash money in the bank. So these kids are in this environment. They're in actually a better environment than you would be as an adult. They don't have to pay any bills. They can experiment, they can learn, they can apply a lot of time and effort to grow in their business with someone taking care of them, AKA the parents. But you don't have that situation. As an adult, you're gonna take care of yourself. But this is the environment that many of these kids operate in. They have financial peace, they have personal peace, they have a lot of ambition and they're very aggressive. But they don't have this emotional turmoil. This is something that can hold you back. This is something that can prevent you from starting a business. Like say you go through a very bad breakup and your mind can literally be blown for a few weeks, a few months, or even a couple of years because of the massive untangling of the emotional ties that you have with the other person. This could be a good time for you to start a business to take your mind off of that situation but one of the things that you have to understand, and really no one ever talks about this because you see all of these people who start these businesses, who create this wealth, but no one really looks at their backstory. Bill Gates, he was happily married. Jeff Bezos, he was happily married. Steve Jobs, he was happily married. These guys all had peace and stability. This is one of the things, Warren Buffett, I think he's been married to the same woman forever. Financial peace and personal peace are critical elements. So if you have emotional turmoil, you're probably going to want to clear that up or start addressing this. And once again, if you need to go talk to someone, AKA a therapist or a counselor, do so. Get yourself mentally healthy because 
the beauty of starting a business is that it will create this additional income so you can start to live your best version of your life. If you're not mentally healthy, then that's going to be a bit of a challenge because you're going to, this is how people develop alcoholism. This is how people develop drug addictions because their personal finance, their personal life is such a dumpster fire that they need the high to distract and fall into these downward spirals of addiction. So this is how you get someone who starts a business, makes millions of dollars, and then they're unhappy. Kurt Cobain, he was creating this great music. He had this lawyer following. He had all this money. He killed himself. Drug addiction, uh, depression, these are things that money cannot fix. You've got to fix that. And this is why you can have someone who's extraordinarily rich, who has all of these downward, these bad things in their personal life. So part of creating a business is creating something that enables you to live the life that you want to live on your terms. And that's what we're going to do. So this is your first video. I want you to write down what's going well in your life. And I want you to write down what's going bad in your life. And I want you to look at it and start to figure out how you can improve this because this course isn't just to help you create the environment to start a business. It's to help you to have a better life, to enjoy each day, to have fun, to be fulfilled. So, Go ahead, this is your first task. Write down what's going well, and then write down what's not going well. And then figure out a way to address what's not going well. And if you need to talk to someone, if you need to go get professional help, do so. That's what they're there for, and it can help you be the best version of yourself.